uh, you've really told the viewers that uh, they are fast, they're eligible to invest back at home, and uh, you've told them the process, like what they need to know uh, when scouting for this land. So uh, maybe we'll just uh, quickly talk about uh, once they've viewed the plots, they've sent the representative or the, through the virtual tours, how do they make the payments now to Fanaka? Let's narrow it down to Fanaka. How do they make the payments from mm -hmm. diaspora mm -hmm. to us? Um, I think I'd, I'd say as a, as a country, we're actually living our best life. Because you see, uh, the world we live in today is a very integrated world. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a, it's a global village, that is what they say. Mm -hmm. We have M-Pesa. Mm -hmm. I think I've had M-Pesa gone global, so, yeah. where people are still in the uh, UK can still use, use M-Pesa back home. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have the interconnectivity through the SWIFT where a person can use their bank to transact mm -hmm. to us. We've seen that a lot with people from Asia and uh, America mm -hmm. where they can just uh, deposit directly. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's that easy. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You really are shouting and saying that Fanaka has really made everything seamless and easy for them. So uh, if you're a diaspora person, uh, don't be conned, um, don't be cheated that uh, you have to send money to someone to send to us. You can do that directly from where you're seated to Fanaka account, right? Yeah, and that, you know the beauty of that is, uh, I think, I, I don't know where I saw this, where as a country we're becoming, uh, uh, what is, uh, I'm looking for a world. Uh, a better word for it. Like, kila mali at every end of the process, lazima kuna third party. Come to Kalikwa, yeah. come So in Kenya, on. today, if you ask someone if they, they know where they can get a, an engine for Subaru, they tell you, I know, I, I can get you an engine for, for a Subaru. So what they do, they take that, and then they'll now go contact someone else on them. Ukonayo. Yeah. Now what is happening through all those stages is the prices in Endeleki, it hike. hike. But now imagine this. Mimi mm -hmm. niko diaspora. Mm -hmm. If land in Kenya in a toka 800,000, mm -hmm. regardless of where, either I'm paying with dollars, US pounds, oh, it's not US pounds, <laughs> <laughs> US dollars, Britain pounds, and all that, uh -huh. my amount will remain the same. Mm -hmm. It's like hakuna mtu ata atajua ni tofauti yako na, na mtu wa, wa diaspora. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. So it really helps because now I know I'm actually getting value for my money. Mm -hmm. And you know, in diaspora, it's not easy. I think you can attest that. Abisa, it's not. You are in Nairobi, <laughs> and those people back home, eh, they usually don't know. It's the same kind of relation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you look, if you look at how our money financially should be spent, mm -hmm. nobody has like, uh, oh, what do I call it? Like in excess in terms of resources. Resources are usually very scarce. Because mm -hmm. if that is the amount I'm getting for this engagement I have abroad, mm -hmm. we've talked about the median stay for people in diaspora being 11 years. 11 years. So you can imagine if I have to spend my amount, 50% for my needs, just to make sure I'm actually surviving, surviving the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have 20, 30% to look at what wants do I have. Mm -hmm. eh? You get it? The mm -hmm. remaining 20% I have to actually invest. Mm -hmm. So if, if a person is coming in between that, you in that journey of investment, that person is actually messing you big time. If a person inflated a price for you, let's say a property in Atoka 800, mm -hmm. this person came and sold to you at a million. Mm -hmm. That's a different of 200. We're actually talking about where you could have a container work here. Mm -hmm. You can actually mm -hmm. start. So mm -hmm. if you look at the value of money mm -hmm. and us having eradicated third parties, we're actually making sure that even if you wanted to add another piece, mm -hmm. even get a bigger pa uh, person, it becomes possible. possible yeah. And those people have actually been exploited. People in Kalisa. diaspora, if they give you your story, I, I, we talk to clients and you listen, you to, listen to the to angle they are coming from. The first bit is they are usually very scared. Very scared and kwanza wana kuona kama They are very skeptical of, of uh, even investing back at home. Because yeah. number one, you'll have to pay this person to come. Somebody will tell you I'm coming from uh, Geshagi. True. To come and view the plot for you. You have to cater for my transport. Oh, correct. You have to cater for my lunch there. Then the person on the ground will just add his own expenses. That is on you. Mm -hmm. Remember that one is aside from uh, the, the plot price. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you'll have to pay them for the service of them coming to view. Mm -hmm. So I think Fanaka, we've really tried to eliminate that bit. We try to really connect uh, from us to, to the clients directly, mm -hmm. even in terms of payments, in terms of the viewership and all that.